in this case, uh, or, and you know, two of them will not make sense. So I guess you will have to transform that enterprise as you subsume that enterprise you know, to use your canonical model or create some kind of adapters that, and place them at the edge of your enterprise uh, that will invoke their services and transform it out uh, to your canonical model for your bus to consume. So you don't do as much transformation within your bus. So it could be adapter strategy or it could be a complete you know, reconciliation. I'm assuming adapter strategy and transformation will come first as a tactical, which you've probably already done. And then you, know, you just need to do your due diligence. A war of canonical Thanks. models. Just as a quick follow-up, are you familiar with any tools or products that assist with the metadata, metadata description on those elements of data? Sure. Uh, well, Metamatrix is actually one of them. C combined with uh, some other tools, uh, like global IDs, can actually uh, get your metadata out of XML or databases. I'm, I'm sure that that data at some point comes from databases. Right. So these guys are pretty good about understanding, crawling your data, for, uh, get, getting the meta, uh, metadata, and then actually being able to show you that stuff and at runtime being able to use that metadata to pull up, you know, and to actually render that data. So Metamatrix would be one. But, uh, Thank you. Sure. Very welcome. And if there are no other questions, which there may well be, here they are. Uh, you're not going to get away with this lightly, Max. I know. You've I know. got them going. I was asking for it. Quick question. <laughs> uh, uh, you, you talked about potentially enterprise architecture or enterprise architects coming out of the ivory tower to become hands-on. What's your definition of an enterprise architect? Uh, well, I would say that this is, in, in most enterprises, you have this centralized architecture group. Uh, sometimes they call them application architecture group or enterprise architect. These are the guys who uh, have a good view of the enterprise have good dom you know, domain experience. And a lot of the time, there are the champions for this trends such as virtualization and service-oriented architecture. So again, sometimes they will have that name, enterprise architecture, but it's any centralized technical architecture group or not so technical architecture group that is kind of driving the thought leadership in your enterprise. So again, you know, it's thought leadership and kind of you know, advanced thinking is great, but you have to make these folks responsible for also delivering that value. I mean, again, they, they don't have to code on a daily basis, but they have to work with teams to deliver this, this value, right? So if you talk the talk, you know, you have to deliver. And that's very key. And just on the other point is, you know, this is the best place to start for your SOA center of excellence. Because this, your enterprise will need one. You know, you will need the champions. You will need the skills and expertise. And usually, again, being practical, what is the best place to start? It, it's the group that's championing at this, this point. You know, turn them into a solo center of excellence. There you are. That's all we have time for, because breakout sessions begin again also in this room. We're going to BPM. Let's give it up for Max Jankelovic from Freedom OSS. Thank you. Thank you.